So the other day, somebody asked me, what is multifamily syndication exactly? Multifamily syndication is simply a method in which people come together to purchase a real estate investment. Now, this real estate investment could be a commercial building, a storage building. It could even be a single family home that someone's gonna fix up and sell. But in this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about multifamily. So it's where investors pull their resources financial resources and also other resources, maybe skills that someone doesn't have individually, that when you bring everything together, the people can afford and can manage stuff as a group and get economies of scale where they wouldn't have that by themselves. So a lot of the times it allows people to purchase larger real estates with potentially higher returns. Now syndication has been around for a long time, but on April 5th, 2012, President Obama passed the Jobs Act, which is the Jumpstart Our Business Startups. And what that basically did is it made it easier for small investors to make real estate investments. Right now, you can only turn to a limited group of investors, including banks and wealthy individuals, to get funding. Laws that are nearly eight decades old make it impossible for others to invest. But a lot's changed in 80 years, and it's time our laws did as well. Because of this bill, startups and small business will now have access to a big new pool of potential investors, namely the American people. Now, before we get into the rest of this video, please hit that like button if you like content like this because it helps out the channel tremendously and feel free to subscribe because we put out new content like this every single month. And as a thank you for doing that, I'll do my best to respond to as many as comments as possible. So now let's talk about how a syndication works. Now there's what we call is a syndicator or a sponsor, and they're part of a GP team. And then you have investors, which are limited partners. First, we're gonna talk about the syndicators or the GP team. And this is typically a set of real estate experienced individuals who they understand real estate, they understand how to acquire a multifamily, they underwrite the project, they go out, they're gonna manage the project. And their goal is to present an opportunity to the investors. Now, the investors are limited to their liability based upon the capital that they're gonna invest. And so you're pulling these uh, groups of people together. One's main function is operational and they're gonna manage that asset to the performer in which the investors made an investment. And the investors are typically passive, right? So they're passive in the deal, only limited to their financial. They don't take part in any of the day-to-day -day management of the property. So the GP team is gonna be responsible for the acquisition. So they're gonna go out and they're gonna find the property and they're finding a property that is specific to the criteria, which is also referred to as the buy box. So they're gonna have investors that are looking for an asset and they're gonna then go out and look in the marketplace for that property. They might find it through a relationship of some of the, somebody they met at a conference. They might find it through a registered broker. They might just find it through a private network, but their goal is to find that. And unlike a fund, the good part for the investor in the LP is if that property does not meet their criteria, they could just pass on the investment opportunity. So you have investors that are looking for certain criterias from syndicators and syndicators are looking for certain opportunities or multifamily projects that meet the investors needs and their needs because again, the GP team is typically always investing in the project as well. And their job is simply to make sure that they acquire that asset and that asset is again gonna to perform to the performa that the investors are buying into. Now, another responsibility of the GP team is management, and they're gonna manage that property after the acquisition, which is gonna be the day-to-day -day operations, tenant management, maintenance, and any renovations that might be required to get that property to produce at its highest value. And another thing that the GP team is also gonna do is they're gonna do all the distributions of income and profit. So, Basically, the operational income generated from the rents and the fees of the property, they're gonna make sure that the mortgage payment's paid, they're gonna make sure all of the covered expenses are paid, and then any surplus in that income is gonna then be distributed to all the investors or the LPs. Then upon the sale of the property, the capital gains are distributed according to the pre-agreed terms in the investment agreement. Now I've invested in many multifamily syndications and I simply did it because the benefits that were provided to me as the investor. One is it gave me access to larger deals than I would be able to go out and do on my own. So if I was gonna go make an investment in a property, maybe based upon my budget, I would have to settle for a smaller, less units 
or maybe I have to go for a property in a less desirable market. I like syndication because it allows me to play in the game where people are making bigger investments that I couldn't do by myself, but through syndication, I get access to larger deals. Another benefit is diversification. So I'm able to invest in a class A, a class B, I can go across uh, geographical regions without needing to manage each of those properties on my own. Another one is gonna be just the professional management. When I first made my first investment in syndication, I had experience in residential real estate, but I didn't have any professional experience in multifamily real estate. And so syndication allowed me to get in the game by teaming up with experienced professionals that have been doing numerous multifamily deals. And I was able to participate in those deals and it basically reduced the burden of me having to worry about the day-to-day -day management as an individual investor. Now, all investments have risk, but another benefit of multifamily syndication is you're reducing that risk. Remember, you're pulling the resources together, financial and the GP team, and that they usually have professional experience and managing assets like this. And through the pooling of your resources, it's gonna let you get assets you wouldn't ever, ever be able to get individually, which typically will allow you to go into better assets and better markets or simply just take advantage of more opportunities. Now, passive income is probably the most popular benefit from this sort of investment. And basically, as a general partner, you're gonna purchase an asset and you might be trying to add value to that property by fixing it up. Uh, you might be increasing rents by buying a property that's below market or in a great market where rents are gonna appreciate. And so as that happens, as the income comes in from that property and all the expenses are paid, as a limited partner, you're gonna get checks, some monthly, some people do them quarterly, but you're gonna get a check based upon the profitability of that multifamily project. Because again, those are looked at as businesses and the profit is distributed to you as a passive investor. And now you have passive income coming from that investment. Then finally, there's tax benefits. You know, real estate syndication offers all sorts of potential tax benefits. Now I advise you to talk to your CPA or your attorney to find out what you qualify for, but this is gonna include any deductions, depreciation, mortgage interest, and any other related property expense. But make sure you talk to your CPA to find out what you qualify for. Multifamily syndication is an attractive investment strategy for anyone looking to invest in real estate without all of the liability of property management. Now, it offers all sorts of benefits. Property management, the ability to scale, and it reduces your risk. So it makes it a viable option for individuals seeking to enhance their investment portfolio through real estate.